Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I have a Dollar Tree haul that I wanted to share with you guys. I got a few Halloween things, a few random like house stuff and um, a couple Christmas things because Christmas is out at Dollar Tree and you know if you see it and you don't get it, it won't be there the next time you go back to try and get it. And that always happens to me and I've learned my lesson many a time. So when I see something there, I don't care how far away Christmas is, I'm grabbing it. So let's get into the video. But first, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you love Dollar Tree Hauls. All right, let's get into it. The first thing that I picked up is this um, desk organizer and it has three slots and it's just black and looks like this. I didn't get it for my desk. I actually got why well, I got it for my makeup desk and I'm going to try and utilize it to um, put some of my extra palettes in that I need to organize a little bit better. So I'm excited to use this. I'm going to spray paint it and hopefully it works the way I envision it working in my head. The next thing I got is this Texas Pete hot sauce. I love this hot sauce. It is my favorite and it is the lowest calories, or, or not calories, sodium that I have seen in a hot sauce. So this is my go-to hot sauce. I feel like I haven't seen this little scrubber. It looks like that and it has like rubber right there. And then the bristles, they're pretty hard. I mean, there's definitely stiffer bristles, but I feel like I haven't seen this. I don't know if it's been there or not but it was on like an end cap and there were a lot of them so I might be new, but I just thought this would be good if you're like scrubbing something. I have a scrubber that's pretty old so I figured I would go ahead and try this out and replace it. I also picked up another two pack of sponges, always haul these, love them. There we go. The next thing is this bag. I actually picked up this bag from Dollar Tree to put my stuff in when I leave Dollar Tree because they give you so many plastic bags and I just, hate getting plastic bags all the time and I always forget to bring bags with me so I picked up this one to just keep in my car after I empty it out I have to go back and put it in my car I have to get in the habit of doing that um, but I thought this bag was real cute and it's pretty darn sturdy and it's like I have no idea what this material is but it feels like it will hold up pretty well so I'm excited about this bag with Christmas right around the corner I am stocking up on things that could be stocking stuffers or little things like that for my daughter and she loves the little like well it's these they are the scratch it and they look like that on the back and basically you just take like uh this wooden geez this wooden um like little pencil if you've never seen it before and you scratch on black paper and then different shapes and stuff you some are plain that you can just write with but my daughter loves these so I got the one that is rainbow and then they have a glitter one as well where everything's like glittery and I thought she would think that was cute. These are such great things to go ahead and pick up if you have a kid or are giving to children that like this kind of stuff. It says six and up, but my daughter was definitely playing with this before she was six. Like I remember her having these when she was like four. So I think they say six because that thing is a little sharp that you use to um, you know color on the things but I definitely think this can go for a kid unless the kids like crazy and you're scared that they're gonna stab themselves in the eye but I think it can go for kids that are even like four I got some more little stuff and stuff for things my daughter right now is really into um, these little bead design kits and we actually got her one off of Amazon and it was um, I don't know like ten dollars or something and it works good and it came with a lot of beads but then when I saw that they had these as a Dollar Tree I was like what because it didn't the one that we got her didn't come with a lot of different shapes and Dollar Tree sure enough had some different shapes that she doesn't have so I snagged them up I got this in the flower and basically you just take the beads if you've never seen them before you take the beads you make the shape you design it like whatever colors that you want and then you take wax paper and an iron and then you iron the beads together and then it's like a little thing I don't know what they do with them I, I don't know why she loves it but she loves it and it's affordable and it's at the Dollar Tree so I was picking it up so I got the flower I got the butterfly I got a little car and then they had a glow in the dark one I just got one of the glow in the darks and it's just a regular um, 
uh, like pegboard, I guess they're called. So I, uh, and I think it comes with a couple of different shapes. I don't know. Again, great stocking stuffers for kids. This I would say six years old. I don't know. I maybe a five year old could do it, but there are little tiny little beads and it kind of takes time and patience. So definitely a little bit older um, kid would enjoy these. I needed a new toothbrush. So I picked up a pink Colgate tooth brush. I found these um, fake eyelashes. They are by the Diamond Diamond Cosmetics, which I don't remember seeing Diamond Cosmetics before at mine. Um, they are not for like every day. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but they have sparkles on like the eyelash part. I don't know. They looked really cool um, in the package. I got these so that I could hopefully make them work and they would look cute with my Halloween costume. I haven't tried them yet. I got two so I could play around with one and see if it stays on, if it looks terrible or whatever, and then have one for Halloween because I don't know if I'll be able to get two uses out of them. But they had a bunch of different ones too. So if you need some eyelashes for Halloween, you might want to check these out. The Diamond Cosmetics. Picked up more paper plates. I always haul paper plates. I love this one. This does it, what does it say? Trick or, just trick or treat, but it, I just love the design on this one. So got some more of those. I saw this headband and I thought that my daughter would think it was so cute. Let me take the tag off. Okay, so it looks like this. I got to cut that tag off. But how adorable is that for Halloween time? I think it's so cute. So I couldn't pass this up. I just love it. It's so cute. I also picked up these LED skull lights. I have an area that I want to use them for, so I went ahead and picked those up. My house is pretty much done decorating for Halloween. There's a couple things left that I still want to do. I never feel like I'm done decorating. Like I always see something else or want to add something here or do something there. So it's always hard for me to be like, okay, Done. I just I love decorating for the holidays so much so that video will be coming up very soon hopefully if it's not this week it'll be next week but I'm going to try and get it up this week but I will show how I used all of my Dollar Tree Halloween finds I got some more creepy cloth I swear this is the best stuff just to spookify any area you can use it so many ways I'm actually doing a video um, of different ways that I like to use my creepy cloth. So that will be coming up very soon. So stay tuned for that if you need some inspiration of how to use creepy cloth. I got four of those. I also picked up some Spanish moss. I needed to use this for like, it's not really a DIY. It's just something that I'm mixing with something for one of my Halloween decorations. So I needed some Spanish moss. I also picked up a couple skeletons. I think I got two. I just wanted to add these around in a couple areas. I'm not sure if I'm gonna spray paint them or kind of use them how they are. I don't know. Um, but I did get two of these because I figure you can just kind of add a skeleton around to spookify the house a little bit. I think I am gonna paint them. I think so. Silver maybe? I don't know. What color is skeleton? Maybe white. White, why not a white skeleton? Skeletons are white. I'm gonna paint it white. There we go. Boom. Random, but it was at the bottom of the bag. I picked up some tape. It's two in here, and I think that's a pretty darn good deal. Two pieces, of, or not pieces, two things of tape for a dollar, and it's name brand. Yes, please. Okay, and the last things that I got are Christmas. I just got a few different ornaments. I am doing two Christmas trees this year. I'm so excited because I've always wanted to put um, a, ki a, a kitchen. Uh, what's it called? A Christmas tree in my dining room. Growing up, my mom had trees everywhere and decorated them all with a different theme. And it was so beautiful. And I was always like drawn to that and wanted to be able to do that in my own house one day. And I just never really wanted to put down money to have more than one Christmas tree. But we got a fake Christmas tree a couple years ago and it's like a real nice looking um, artificial tree. But my husband really wants to get a real one again, because most of the time we use real, except for the past two years. So I'm going to use the artificial one in my dining room and our real one in my family room. And I'm gonna decorate the dining room just with whites and silvers and gold and make it just a glam tree. So I'm so excited about that. So mostly I'm getting decorations or ornaments for that tree and I can't wait. I picked up these little, um, are these supposed to be points? What are these? 
I don't know, little flowers. They're, these are in silver and there's three and it has the clip on them. So I thought these would be nice to clip in some areas or um, even use for a DIY possibly. So I got it in silver. I also got it in the gold color. And I think they're so pretty. I also picked up this white reindeer. I just think it's such a pretty reindeer. I love him. He's super sparkly. I don't know if the camera is picking up on how sparkly it is. There's definitely fallout. You'll definitely have to spray it if, um, if you don't want glitter all around your house. I think it'll look so pretty on my dining room Christmas tree. And I also picked the same thing up in like this champagne color. I thought this one was really pretty as well. And yeah, they're just so pretty. I can't say it enough, they're pretty. I also picked up this white one and I just thought this was so pretty as well. It again is sparkly. And I like that on both sides, it has the little stone and it's kind of the same. So if it turns a little bit, it's gonna look pretty either way. I just, I wish I should've, I should've gotten more of this. The last ornament that I got is this one. I love this one so much. I think it's so pretty. The back is just the mirrored, um, but the front, I just love it mixed together. I think it's gonna look so glam on the Christmas tree. I think if you have like a, um, a more of a glam feel to your Christmas decor, I think these will end up being so pretty on the Christmas tree. Or you can use them in other places too, but oh my gosh, I cannot wait to use like these together. Oh, I just can't wait. So that is it for today's Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did, please. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe. I have lots of videos coming up soon. I'm sorry, I was MIA last week. My husband had his thyroid taken out and had to spend the night at the hospital and the recovery, the surgery didn't, it went smoothly, but um, there, were, he, there were a couple issues, so it made his recovery a little bit harder. So when he is like, when my husband, my husband and I are so close and when there's something wrong with him, like I just turn into like mama bear and like I put everything else aside and I just take care of him, take care of my daughter and just focus on them. So he's back at work now and feeling a lot better. So now I'm able to get back to filming and sharing the things that I have planned and wanted to share with you guys. And that is it for today's video. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.